Hello everybody, in this video, I'm going to bring you to see the megalithic site of Japan. The ancient wonders are just as crazy as those around the world. Japan is actually another hotbed of megalithic culture. There are many megalithic sites to explore. For today, I would like to focus on Keyhole Kofun. Ku means old or ancient. Fern means grave. Ku fern in Mandarin means ancient grave. There are approximately 20,000 kofuns throughout Japan. I managed to pin 41 kofuns around Mozu tomb site on Google Earth. Not all are keyhole designs. I can find 9 keyhole kofuns near Dyson kofun. This cluster of kofun is probably the most famous compared to others. In the nearby cluster, I can find another 10 kofuns with keyhole designs. The word kofun is used throughout Japan. However, in English, we have other words such as tomb, tumulus or mound. The largest kofun is dedicated to Emperor Nintoku. He was the 16th emperor. However, his existence is only a legend. There is no record of this legendary emperor. Dyson Kofun is assigned to Emperor Nintoku, who is a mythical or legendary emperor of the 5th century. Let's use the Pyramid of Khufu as a comparison because everyone is familiar with it. We all know it is huge. However, based on the actual relative size for comparison, Pyramid of Khufu will sit nicely in the middle of the circle. It will look something like this compared to Pyramid of Khufu. The magnitude of this project is astounding. The material needed to build the inner structure will need at least two Pyramids of Khufu. Based on archaeological facts, it is believed to have been constructed 2200 years ago. However, bear in mind that no one knows anything about this superstructure. There are three modes surrounding the Dyson Kofun. Although Dyson Kofun is officially the largest tomb in the world in terms of area and volume, it is relatively unknown. It is believed that about 2,000 men built Dyson Kofun in 16 years. In reality, this is an unexcavated site and no one knows what lies under the roots of this large and green Kofun. There are basically three shapes involved, a circle, a square and a trapezoid. If you put the trapezoid under the circle and the square, you get the other two types of kofun. These three shapes create four types of kofun. Archaeologists have managed to categorize the kofuns into four types based on shape, but the mysterious shape is the keyhole shape. History and logic shed no light to this architecture. Japanese in the 3rd and 6th century were so obsessed with kofun they made approximately 20,000 of them with only 4 types of shape. However, today it is a mystery as to who made it and why it was there. The keyhole type is typically unusually large compared to the rest which is mostly about 50 meters in diameter. If 20,000 kofuns in Japan were made for emperors and generals and rulers, where are these people at that time? Why make a thousand more kofuns than needed for the future, let alone 10,000? But the Japanese decided to go for 20,000. If Japanese built 20,000 kofuns in 300 years, that means there is a new kofun every five and a half days. How can such nationwide project disappear without a trace? Japanese government is very secretive about conducting research on kofuns. Emperors are supposed to be descendants of gods. Kofuns are archaeological sites with a taste of religion. The purpose of Kofun is still debatable. Some scholars suggest that occupants might not be rulers or legendary godlike emperors, but rather they were just tribal chieftains. The interesting thing about mysterious keyhole structure is not limited to Japan. There are mysterious keyhole shapes arranged with stones in Saudi Arabia and it is only visible if you are in a plane flying across the desert. There is also another keyhole structure in Sardinia in Italy known as Santa Cristina Sacred Well. This site in Italy is still a megalithic mystery until today. 
The most unlikely Kofun shape is actually found on planet Mars. This definitely got the alien theories buzzing around the world. Mozutum's area used to have more than 100 Kofuns. Today, about half of the Kofuns in Mozutum's cluster is lost to rapid urbanization. Many were removed to make way for properties. If you live in Mozutum's area, the keyhole shape is an iconic symbol you can see in your everyday life. Well, that's all for today. Hope you enjoy my short presentation on Dyson Kofun in Japan. And see you next time. Sayonara matane.